Healthy it is. I mean, asparagus is healthy. Spinach is really healthy. Wow. I mean, potatoes are very healthy. It's hard to go wrong with potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Corn's very healthy. I feel like I can get more bang for my buck by getting sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are awesome vegetable, though. That costs $8.25 for you. Alright, so let's try that. Because... going to be sweet potatoes. And we're going to change the price. Yeah. $26? $25? Set that. Alright. Chili steak, mashed potatoes, artifish, ribs, scallops, and salt. I hope we can actually feed everybody this time. We've got a lot of mashed potatoes. What do I serve with my mashed potatoes? Salt and pepper? I'm going back to get more salt and pepper. Just because I don't want to sell out of whatever it is that we're eating and getting a lot of. Alright. People really like the mashed potatoes, so I'm giving them a lot of mashed potatoes. 32 out of 32. Okay, now people are coming in. Whew, oh my goodness. Alright. Good. Scallops, ribs, artifish, scallops, mashed potatoes, charret, mashed potatoes. Good, people are liking the mashed potatoes, artifish. Charret, mashed potatoes, artifish, artifish, ribs. All right, we've got a rhythm here. I think I got a menu that works. Okay, now we just have to, you know, lean on it as much as possible. Get more of this, get more of this. This is our money machine. And get more, 20 more of these because those are important. People like the potatoes. Scallops, not so much of, which is fine. Yeah, the artifices are, are solid. I'm not touching those. It would be foolish of me to touch those because they're just so, they're just people are just you know spending their cash on it, and it's great. And we need twenty of these. Make sure we're feeding the masses. Rest. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Open restaurant. 32 out of 32 are serving. Heck yes. All right, now we've got a we've got a, a groove going. Perfect. We got a good mix of people. So we're always serving. We haven't even gotten our capacity yet. So we're good. Let's make sure we keep it up, everybody. We're still feeding everybody. Twenty. Ten. 11, 12, 11, 12. We'll probably need to get more. More people are coming to our restaurant, so we want to make sure we have enough food for all of them. This needs 20. This is fine. Okay. Check menu. Good. We've got enough chili steak, mashed potatoes, artifices, ribs, salt and pepper. Sweet potatoes, okay. Hopefully that'll be enough. Thirty-two out of thirty-two. 
32. Heck yes. 32. Um, and hopefully that'll be enough to feed everybody. We're gonna find out soon. Twenty-eight out of thirty. Okay, not quite, because we have we have like two miners. We still have two miners coming in that aren't eating, able to eat much. <sighs> Arrive at my bedroom. Time for sleep. Think about Emily. Hang out with Claire. No, we don't. We can't hang out. We must make more money. Talk to Paul's brother. Yeah, let's talk to Paul's brother. Ever since that incident in the grocery store, Paul has really been has been trying really hard to avoid me. He doesn't answer my calls, and he's always out whenever I buy some vegetables. Deciding that I've had enough of this silent treatment, I strike up a conversation with his little brother while he packed my purchases in a paper bag. Hey, he looks at me curiously. You said your older brother has been to a bar a lot, right? Does he have plans of going there again? Yeah, I think so. He's there every night anyway. What's the name of that bar? Um, I'm not sure. Bar none, I think? I see. Thank you. He finishes packing all the vegetables and looks up at me as he hands me the paper bag. No problem. I just hope he goes back to his formal self. Same here, kid. After the restaurant's closing, I instantly head for bar none. It's still morning, though. Now, if only I remembered where that is. I've only been there once since I'm not much of a drinker. Paul and I never really went out drinking. I can't believe he goes here almost every night now. What's gotten into him? Thankfully, I managed to find the bar again, and I quickly enter. I scan the area of any sign of Paul, and I find him huddled over the bar's counter. His head is buried in his arms, and a couple of empty glasses lie next to him. Without even hesitating, I sit right next to him and cautiously tap his shoulder. He doesn't even respond. I resort to shaking him awake, in the gentlest possible way I can, of course, and still get no response. Oi. He groans at me. I sigh. I look over to the barman and call out to him. Yes, sir. How long has he been here? Quite a while, sir. I see. I'm guessing he's had a lot to drink, am I right? The barman slowly nods his head and Paul suddenly shoots right up. Upon seeing his drunken face, he diverts his attention away from us and into wiping the counter. Welcome back to Earth, Paul. His head, he turns his head to look at me and, he, and, then, and he frowns, then speaks to me with a somewhat condescending tone. Whatcha doing here, Hark? I don't even know if he's trying to be threatening with that drunken slur. So, it's gotten down to this, huh? Since when did you pick up the habit of drinking? He looks away and grabs the half-filled glass near him, downing all of its contents in a single gulp. What should I do? Pretend to get mad. Have a drink with him. I sigh and then order a drink for myself. Fine, I'll drink with you. Now can we talk? It's not like I'm actually going to drink, though. Maybe just this one glass I ordered and that's it. I have quite the strong tolerance of alcohol anyway. At least I think I do. Everybody thinks that. No, I don't need your stupid company. Come on, man. I'm trying to help you out here. Take a quick sip from the glass and Paul... I take a quick sip from the glass and Paul laughs. I don't need your help. This is tiring me out, so I decide to tell, him, tell it to him straight. Great, he isn't responding. What am I going to do with you? Paul, just tell me what's wrong. I'm generally worried, you know. Okay, I'm so sorry for mentioning Lisa. I just wanted to... That's it. Huh? Paul interrupts me in such an abrupt manner that takes me entirely by surprise. That's what's going on. Lisa. He raises a hand and I instantly stop talking. Then he ruefully shakes his head. Nah, man, it's cool. I should be sorry for making you go through all that and getting mad at you. He looks up at the ceiling as if trying to hold back tears. I'm just not over her, man. And then you bring it up, and I suddenly remember that we never really had any closure. Our relationship just ended. You get what I'm saying? And then I snapped at you as if it was all your fault that I've gotten like this, when really it's not. I was just so, so bitter and angry about everything. Just like Dad, I've been holding on to the past too much. Speaking of Dad, he's not getting any better. Mom's getting all angry and sad, and it's just too much to take in, man. Too much. Oh, comfort him. I reach out and give him a pat on the back and he slouches, then eventually buries his head back into his arms. I silently pay the bill and tip the barman, then I make him stand up and sling one of his arms around my shoulders. It took quite a long time to get him out of the bar and back to his home, but thankfully I managed to take, make it without any trouble. 
Okay. Well, that's good. One of my recipes has no stock. I should probably remove it from the menu or buy ingredients, which I do. Go back. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I haven't actually bought anything. That's why. I was like, why? Why? Where is it? I'm not even. I'm not even ready. I'm not even ready yet. Okay. Make sure I have enough of this. And enough of this. And enough of this. Yeah. Those are good. Enough of that. And more of this. And more of that. And more of that. Bye. I know I can buy 10 at a time, but it's just, I just prefer, you know, being able to pick and choose, okay, what, what to sell and what not to sell. I want, I need, I need more customers, so I might just get a, place an advertisement. Gain up to three until the end of the day. I might throw something into a food blog. Gain up to 11 until the end of the day. Food blog. Thanks, dear. Open restaurant. 38 out of 38. Okay, that's perfect. I got 38 out of 38. I'm feeding 38 out of 38. Heck yes. Okay. People are buying. How much, pe how much cash are people bringing? 30, 10, 30, 40. Family is bringing 40. All right, I need to get some. Family need, wants healthy taste, speed, creativity, and quality. All right, so now I can get, now that some people are bringing their families in here, I can start bumping things up a little bit. You always got another family here. Okay, good. So let's, let's up, up the ante a bit because we've got some people who are actually bringing $40 in. Gotta up, we have to up, 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 up. start feeding those families too. What would those families want? Yeah, families want healthy taste, speed, quality. Healthy taste, speed, quality. I need to, I need to get another recipe in. Upgrade restaurant, increase recipe limit. New recipe. Um, let's see, seven plus plus venison's a good one. Here, let me let me let me let me do some experimenting. See, asparagus is like right up there. I feel like I can get some asparagus. I can get a good bang for my buck if I get some asparagus.
We're gonna experiment. I'm just gonna buy five exper asparagus. We're gonna experiment a bit. Um, lobster is good. Lobsters, yeah, lobsters pretty expensive. Let me use the cloves on. Um, new recipe. Asparagus and cloves. Yeah. This is gonna be good. Um, yeah. Because I can. Put in edit recipe. Who had this one had salt and pepper? Um, and then the chariots. I don't think any of my other recipes are using the cloves, right? Oh, the sweet potatoes are using the cloves. That's fine. Um, Sweet potatoes are doing very well. I don't know if I want to necessarily mess with that. People are buying them, so... I might buy... <sighs> Tofu is okay. Lobster, I mean... Lobster is good, it's just, I feel like the price is going to make it... See, if I if I edit this guy, asparagus and cloves... I kind of want to get up to 40 here, so I need to add... Let's go get I'm wondering if I have to have it in my inventory. So if I in inventory, if I put in pork belly, pork, pork belly. Try pork belly and change the price. 40 would be 31.45%. So let's try that. Let's try braised pork belly. I think that looks like something that people would want $40 on. Yeah. Let's buy some, let's buy some more pork belly. Bye. And we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes this afternoon. I feel like people will want it. Why are my chariots not? Because I need more chicken. Okay. I feel like I'm, I'm wasting things by not spending all my money, but I feel like I have enough ingredients. Okay. Well, we're still serving everybody that we're getting. 38 customers. Goodness. So, um, people are buying the sweet potatoes, the artifish. we have any family here? Has anyone bought the, um... Artifish, braised pork. Oh, we got the braised pork. The families are getting, are buying the braised pork for forty dollars. Yup, we got it. We got it. We got it. It's really cool. That's really cool. All right, the braised pork is working. So we need to. Oh, and the artifish is almost out. I need to make sure I can feed all these people. 
All right. We're gonna get 20 of these, because I know these are popular. And then get 20 of these, because I know people are good. If people, as long as people want to buy them, I'm gonna get the ingredients for them. So... We're gonna get a whole bunch of potatoes. More of these. Selling our artifice artificers, so people are buying these. Okay. I think we have our meats, and now we just need our seasonings. Alright. Twenty of these. It'd be nice if there was a way to just say, you know, buy all the ingredients for this, you know. Scallops and salt and pepper, artifish, and braised pork belly in stock four. Why do I only have four of this? Oh, because I need more asparagus. It's a good investment if, if the families keep coming. Alright, we're ready for the evening, I think. Open restaurant. Okay, 30% of our goal. I think we might be able to get this. Now the problem is, we're, who has not been eating? The miner, okay. We still need... I have cheap things for you guys, come on. Our mashed potatoes, oh, because the mashed potatoes are going out. And the scallops and salt and pepper were already already out too. Sweet potatoes, braised pork belly. All right, the mashed potatoes. I thought I had enough mashed potato stuff. Apparently not. Apparently not. Remove from menu. And scallops and salt and pepper. Oh, it's because of scallops. It's because I don't have enough salt and pepper. That's why. I have to get a lot of salt and pepper. That's why next time. Okay. Um, braised pork and belly. I'm going to... Create edit recipe. We're going to add... recipe. I'm just going to add, um, just to help us out a little bit, carrots, potatoes, just hot potato for the miners in case the miners come in, you know, change price. Uh, I might set a spice on this thing. Like, uh, that's not going to be good. Set spice is too expensive. I need a cheaper spice. I don't have any cheaper spices. Alright, I'm just going to put it there so that the miners are happy. Hopefully this is going to feed everyone. 30 out of 38. Okay, good. We had some miners come in. Hot potato, hot potato. Okay, good. Hot potato, hot potato. Sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes. Okay. Chili steak, artifish. Artifishes are really, are really coming up. All right. It's getting late. All right, I have in my bedroom. Time for sleep. Okay, I've got one last day before I need to make my goal. 
I've got the cash now, we need to make sure I hold on to it until the end of the day. But not spend it all on ingredients, let's do it. I don't think I'm gonna make it. But, you know, I might as well call up Paul while I'm at it. Paul immediately apologized to me the day after that incident at the bar. He also said he'd make it up to me by having another of our bros nights. But instead of watching DVDs like we usually do, we went to the cinema instead. Oddly enough, he picked a romantic movie, but I just shrug it off uh, and go with it. He's my friend, after all. And I'm really glad we're talking again. Maybe he'd want to make fun of this movie or something. That'd be kind of cool, a bit of a little disrespectful of the patrons. After getting our tickets, I sigh as we make our way for the line, and Paul decides to nudge me in the ribs. <sighs> Come on, man, your face has what the heck are we doing here written all over it. Haha. <laughs> what? No way, I was just wondering, that's all. It has Paloma Sylvia on it, and you know how hot she is. Uh, well... Yeah, yeah, I know how she's your favorite actress and all that. She's not that hot, though. Paul looks at me incredulously, as if taken back with what I just said. You take that back, man. She's the hottest actress of our generation. No way. Everybody knows her greatest rival for the Conservatoire Awards, Antoinette Café, is at least a hundred times hotter than her. You've got to be kidding me. Antoinette's just pretty, pretty for her. Then all of a sudden, he freezes. He stares at something behind me. I turned around to see what suddenly got him tongue-tied, and I almost out a gasp of surprise. Oh, is it Lisa? The both of yes, the both of us watch her come out of the ladies' room, putting something back into her bag. Then, when she sees us, she instantly freezes as well. Hark, P Paul. Lisa. Upon hearing Paul mention her name, she stares directly at him, and he stares right back. And both of them remain silent. Uh oh, awkward. Then she steps forward and bows her head, causing Paul to take an involuntary step backwards due to mild shock. Listen, Paul, I'm, I'm not sure if this is the right time, but I'm going to just take this opportunity and apologize to you. Paul blinks, still remaining silent, and Lisa takes it as a chance to talk some more. I'm sorry for what I did back then. I'm very sorry for treating you horribly, for insulting you, snapping at you. I'm just, I'm sorry for being such a huge jerk. I understand if you can't forgive me, but I... No. Paul's sudden crude interruption, matched with the slight scowl on his face, leaves Lisa silent, unable to say anything else. Um, no, I wasn't frowning because I hated everything you said or anything like that. It was mostly due to surprise. I, I should be apologizing myself for suddenly ending our relationship without even giving us the chance to talk about it when we were er, calmer. Huh? Um, I see. Thank you. I forgive you too. Paul gives her a friendly smile and Lisa smiles back, though I notice that she is trying to avoid his gaze. So, um, you here to watch the new movie, her new movie, huh? Yeah, you know who she's, you know she's my favorite and all. Oh, shoot, I forgot they both like that actress. Wait, this could be their chance to be friends again. Wait to see how this plays out. Ask, if Lisa, ask Lisa if she wants to watch the movie with them. Think I'm excuse to leave Paul and watch the movie with Lisa alone. <laughs> Wait to see how this plays out. Ask Lisa if she wants to watch the movie with them. Shh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna see if we can put these two together. So maybe, maybe we can be friends with them without, you know, without any issue. Ask Lisa if she wants to watch a movie with them. If you want, Lisa, you could join us, watch the movie. The more the merrier, right? Lisa instantly shakes her head. As much as I'd want to watch the movie with you guys, I promise to watch this movie with one of my friends. She's probably waiting for my, for me by the snack stand, and we did select a different time slot for that movie, so. I really can't watch with you guys. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, I see. Well, that's cool. I guess I'll see you around, Lisa. Yeah, see you around, Paul. You too, Hark. Bye. She immediately turns around and leaves. I take a quick glance toward... Oh, poor Polly. Then see him watching her back as she walks further and further away from us. I take note of the sudden happy air around him as he turned back to me. The sudden happy air? Well, let's go. Wow, that was... That was fast. Okay. He goes back to normal for the rest of the night. Though it seems like he's in very high spirits now. Did he finally get his closure? Is that why? I'm wondering if that's if I'm wondering if it's because he got his closure. That's my guess. Okay. 79. Yeah, I need to get a lot of this. And 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 a lot of this. Well, I don't need any more asparagus. We've got plenty of asparagus. Um, more scallops. 